In this video, I'll show you how to find which files are taking up the most space on your Windows computer. So you can see here on my computer, I have both my C drive and my D drive, and I'm going to show you how we can check which files are consuming the most amount of space and how you can free up space on these different drives. So what we first need to do is head over to the start menu and just search for settings and then click on the settings window. In the left hand navigation, click on system and then scroll down and select storage. Now by default, this is going to bring up the storage space for your C drive. If you want to change this to another drive on your computer, then you can scroll down to the bottom here and click on advanced storage options and then select storage used on other drives and just go and select the drive that you want to check. So I'm just going to click on my C drive as this is the one where I'm running out of space. Now from here, we're going to get a breakdown of exactly where this space is being used. So obviously the most amount of space is being used on installed apps which is to be expected then we have system and reserved now a lot of these files just come with your operating system so we're actually going to leave this one as well so what you want to do is scroll down to the folders below and you should have both other and also documents so these are the first places that you typically want to look for any large files so you can see here that 55 gigabytes of my storage is being allocated to this other folder so what we can do is just click inside of here like so and this is going to give you a breakdown of exactly where this space is being used so you can see almost 30 gigabytes of this is just being used in this one folder over here riot games so what you can do is just click on the folder where all of the space is being allocated and then what you could do is if you don't need these files or you just want to remove them from your computer is select everything inside of here right click and then press the trash icon to delete it now if you want to know exactly which of these files or folders is taking up the space then you can do this just by right clicking on the folder or file clicking on properties and next to size this is going to give you a breakdown of exactly how much space this is taking so you can see actually in this folder this is the one that's using all the space it's got 28 gigabytes here so this is actually the only folder that really needs deleting inside of here so I'm just going to right click this and press delete now obviously only make sure to delete files and folders that you're sure you know what they are you don't want to end up deleting some important Windows file so once you've done that you can come back out of this window and you can essentially do the same thing for documents as well so if you click on the view documents button this is going to show you all of the documents saved onto your computer and then once again we can just right click through all of these folders click on properties and find the folders and applications that are consuming the resources now one thing that's always worth doing to save this space and to free up space on your system is to come back over to the main storage page and then we're going to click back on storage once again and then underneath storage management we want to select clean up recommendations now underneath temporary files you're going to have these drop down items and we can select everything inside of here to clean up space on our system so I'm going to clear both my downloads folder and my recycle bin and press clean up space and then go and press continue you also want to make sure underneath storage management that you have storage sense turned on and enabled this is just going to apply some automatic storage optimizations on your computer just to ensure that you're always running an effective amount of storage space and it's really as simple as that guys if if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.